sit in your life when you think about this really absurd notion of a resurrection? What does it mean for you? Well, I think there is a freedom in knowing our limits, knowing the, for me, you know, the, the faultiness of my own body and, um, you know, the part that precedes the resurrection is the death, right? And part of the beauty of coming to the end of yourself and realizing, you know, you might not be quite as special or <laughs> quite as <laughs> original as you imagined, uh, is, is the part where you end and God begins. And mm-hmm. you can say, man, the best part about me is not me, is it? <laughs> mm-hmm. It is this new thing that God is always doing. And um, I'm still kind of baffled that this terrible time has been the most important time of my life, that uh, everything felt brand new again. Mm-hmm. And so in the midst of decay and terrible and hospital world and needles, there was uh, always the sense that um, God can make things new with or without me. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a lesson I'll have to relearn again and again. Well, uh, I'm here in proxy of my senior editor, Sally Hicks, who told me before uh, this conference that I wouldn't have to say anything. So she lied to me. Uh, and I'll have words to say to her on Monday back in Durham, North Carolina. But I'm honored to be here, honored to accept the award on behalf of a team that has worked very hard to create this podcast, and I hope that it's helped the many listeners that it's had. Um, Thank you to Jackie, thank you to Jim, thank you also to Shirley for hosting us. Um, And I do want to say that I didn't help produce this particular podcast, but I am helping produce the second season So if we're not here in a year, you'll know why. Um, So I I did want to thank our very articulate and excellent hosts, Laura Everett and Bill Lamar, Dave Odom and Kelly Ryan, the executive directors, and Sally Hicks, uh, the executive producer, and Jessamine Rubio, who is the technical manager on the project. Thanks.